Folks, I'm Milton Daly, and I produce two shows, Man vs. Elk and Colorado in the Wild. And, you know, the biggest problem with us, us producers is closed captioning. Number one, it, uh, you know, $200 a week is kind of gets expensive, but more importantly is sending this, these tapes off and, and having them closed captioning cost you, you know, five days and more. Well, have I found the program for you? It's called Movie Captioner. Patrick has come up with one of the best designs for us producers that have to produce these shows each week by ourselves. Uh, and hey, let me show you how this works. The first one of the, the first thing you do when you bring your when you get your movie done, you got it in your viewfinder here. Uh, you drag it down to your timeline, uh, like I did right here, and go ahead and select it all. Go up to uh, to uh, file export using QuickTime conversion, and you'll get a an options tab here. Click on options. The settings up here at the top. The compression type is H.264. Frame rate is always 29.97. And over here to the side where it says data rate, I always put in 20,000. Leave uh, the keyframes automatic, downloads fine. Of course, you can't move the, the compressor quality here. Uh, leave that on best quality right over here on the encoding. Then push OK. And the size, go up to size, of course, we filmed in. 1920 by 1080, but most of my stations that I air on here locally in several of the other states, they accept, they want it in 1280 by 720. You can do either one of these, whichever one the station prefers. Uh, in this case, I'm going to switch it to the 1280 by 720 HD. Click deinterlace the source, push OK. Now on the settings, make sure the settings here, most of the TV stations require the 48.000 right here, 16-bit, and uh, just set it on there. Put it on fast start and push OK. Name your movie. Caption, I, I put high on there because I know it's going to be a, the high quality. And then save it over into the box wherever you're saving at. I've got it on a G drive here under closed caption movie. Oh, for a one minute segment, it's gonna take about uh, three times that. So it's gonna take three, uh, over three minutes for a one minute segment. Now make a second movie in low resolution. So you go up here to file and uh, export QuickTime conversion. We're going to convert this thing down. There's the settings. I'm, I'm going to go to a MPEG-4, drop this down to 24 on the frame rate. I'll restrict it. Don't ever go below 5,000. For some reason, it's too low a quality, and it'll, it just won't show the picture on your um, viewfinder in Movie Captioner. Then go over here to Compressor Quality, drop it down to the lowest, go back up, size, I want to drop it down, even though this is a high definition movie, I want to drop it down to standard definition. This is the lowest setting you can go on right here, uh, 768 by 560. Don't worry about your other settings here for your audio, push OK. And then of course, I always name it, uh, let's call it caption, one, and then we'll come back to it. Find your movie captioner that you've already purchased from Patrick up there, and click on it. And it's, this is how simple this is, folks. There it comes up. Now then, right up here in the top right hand cor left hand corner, you uh, load the movie. There's my caption one, which is the low caption. There's my caption two, which is the high caption. We'll use this in a minute after we get the um, after we get things going. Looks like there's spaces between the name. Okay. 
there's a space right in here. Remember this, close that space in here to where there's no spaces in between what you move that. And uh, then you go up, click on start. Here's how easy it is. Folks, you're looking for any kind of hunting for, folks, you're looking for any kind of hunting for. Hope you're looking for any kind of honey. Hope you're looking for any kind of honey. Hope you're looking for any kind of honey. It repeats the video clip every four seconds until you're ready to listen to the next clip, then press enter. If you misspell a word, just delete or backspace to correct. For any kind of honey property, we've got several uh, spots available. Hey, for any kind of honey property, we've got several uh, spots available. Hey, for any kind of honey property, we've got several uh, spots available. Hey, that you can use this year. They're over the counter tag, folks. When you're finished, click on Stop, then Export. Click on SCC File Only, name it, and save it to your file. Next, you go to Compressor. Don't use the old version. Go ahead and get the free upgrade to the new one. Go ahead and upgrade it. It doesn't cost anything and you'll be glad you did. It's simple to use. Now watch this, just a couple of steps. Make sure that it's not on active. That button up right here is clicked to current. Now it pops up all these screens. Go down here, step number one, add the file. All right, close captioning file. Remember we did the caption one, which is low resolution. Now we're ready to do the real movie. Here's the high high resolution. Now then it pops up another button and you've got to add under the MPEG file, um, MPEG files, choose the center one. There's only three there, the MPEG2 program stream. Click that, okay. Now what, it'll pop up the movie right here. There's your movie. If you wanna play it, you can play it right there. But uh, make sure it's highlighted. Now, if this screen here is not open right here, let me show you what it does. Window, uh, hide inspector. See, if it's not showing up, go to back up here and show inspector. Now, go down here to, the, to, to where it says metadata, push choose. Now, go back up to your, uh, go, it'll open up that file right there and find the one where you see the where you named it, caption one, there's where you've done your typing. Click on it, open. Now then, see here, it put it right there. Now what it done, it's telling it to put it on top of this movie, and even though you can't see it right now, trust me, it is there. Start batch. This is how simple it is. Now right up here, it's processing. It'll show you exactly how long it's processing. In a 30 minute movie like I do, which is, well, a 28, 30, it takes about an hour to, um, to complete this process, putting the closed captioning wording on top of your high resolution movie. Okay, now if you wanna check, <clears throat> make sure your video got closed captioning, get the program that you can upload, it's called VLC. Upload it from the internet, it's free. And drop your media on there. So let's go find our, our file, closed captioning movie. Uh, let's see here, it's that one right there. Oh, before we do, before we do that, go up here to the subtitles and um, subtitle track closed caption one, which, is the, which was the SCC file. Make sure that's open and you'll see, give it a few seconds. And don't worry, it's gonna show up. See there, it showed up. You know folks, this is the best program that I have used. If you'll go to uh, Movie Captioner's website and look at some of their tips, and then with this combined with this m movie that we just produced, you'll figure out how to do it in the format that your station wants it done. But if you can't, hey, give me an email and I'll, I'll uh, 
hey, I'll answer and try to figure out what the problem is, but you shouldn't have any problem. This is the easiest thing. I type with three fingers now, and I can close captioning my show in about an hour and 10 minutes. So if you can type, you can get it done much quicker. So, hey, enjoy it. Order this program. You'll make money with it.